This is a V response to Chris Perillo's video, what's the point of having an iPhone and an iPad? To waste money. That's the point. You got a wad of cash. And you want to blow your wad of cash on something. And you don't know what. And it's something new from Apple. And you like Apple, you blow your money. That's all there is to it. Um, you can buy, nowadays you can buy a laptop, uh, notebook, whatever you want to call it, that is small and light and does everything you need to do. It has plenty of power. I'm not talking about those little Asus Triple E PCs. And even those, you might complain, oh, well, it's not that fast. Well, you know what? At least you can go to game trailers or, um, you know, seeing that. Let me just break it down for you. Any other video site but YouTube, iPad, iPhone, iPod Touch, they can only go to YouTube. There might be like one or two exceptions to that, but only YouTube works for video. And when you go to that website, you can't just watch videos on there. You, have to, you click on a link and it opens the iPod or the YouTube app. Yeah. So, pretty much the point of getting an, iP an iPad is just pretty much to show off. That's pretty much it. He said in his video, if, if I want to show more people, it's a lot easier to show people uh, the video or the document or whatever. On the iPad, bigger screen versus on the iPod Touch. Why am I holding up remotes? Because does is this remote any less than this remote? Is this remote better than this remote? No, this remote's a lot better. I mean, you can go up and down, left and right. You know, you don't have your uh, uh, left and right on top of each other. You might be thinking this is beyond the point, but actually it's not. Think about it. With an iPad, your buttons are like way across the screen. You can't reach your thumbs, you know? I know this, this is kind of roughly not the size, but just, you know, follow along here. He even mentioned, um, I can, it's nicer to check emails with, but not so much to reply with. Um, don't you think it's kind of dumb? It's better. It's better to look at emails with, but not to reply with emails, because it's just a gimmick. It's just a marketing hype. It's just, it's just something to go. Ooh, look at me! I've got extra money. I don't have too many bills, and I can blow it on an iPad. <laughs> that's that's what I'm getting at. Cause yeah, if you want to buy something better. You can get a a smaller laptop that can can do things a lot easier. Something you can set in your lap and you don't have to hunch over like this because in case you didn't know the iPad is kind of flat and you can hold it like this but then your thumbs won't reach all the way across to hit all the, the hit all the keys, right? So if you hold it like this in portrait versus landscape, if you landscape your thumbs can't reach all the buttons, okay? If you hold like this, they can almost reach. And this, this they could, okay, because this is smaller than iPad. iPad's like out here. iPad, in case you didn't know, is this the size of uh, your sheet of paper, which I don't really have around here at the moment. I'm not going to hunt it down. More like this, okay, this Uno box. Imagine your thumbs, yeah, you can't reach. <laughs> you can't reach. How is that a good idea? If it had voice commands and it worked, whoop you freaking do. But no, it, it's stupid, it's overpriced, and it doesn't do anything different than the, the iPod Touch or iPhone. It just costs more, it's a bigger screen. If the iPad had OS X, it'd be worth the money. However, it's not, it's not worth the money. The end.